Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today we are going to talk about what are the different reporting options are available in Cucumber. So before we start the video, guys, I would request you to please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues. Please click on the bell icon to get a notification for the next video. So what is Cucumber reports? What are the different options are available? So today we will see all the basic default reports generated by Cucumber with the help of a different cucumber options so here what i'm going to do that first i have taken this particular uber dot feature that we have already created in the previous examples and then this is the step definition that we have written over here what i'm going to do that i'll go to my uber test dot java and i have created some hooks also and i'll show you this particular hooks over here like let's see right these are the hooks are available i'll simply go over here after the tags Put a comma and then you have to write a plugin over here and then in this particular plugin simple write in curly brackets the first plugin i'm going to use that is a pretty output i want that so when you write pretty over here it means the output which is coming on the console it will be coming properly and then properly aligned and then you can see all the information properly over there so if you run it let's run as j unit and here you see the console output that output is coming in this way like that if you don't write pretty over here let me remove pretty once again you just remove it and then you run it again you are not getting a certain output you are getting the output like this there are no green colors and nothing you are getting a couple of steps like that and then it's not that readable console output so that's why it's always good to have pretty plugin that you can use that other than that what if i want to generate some json reports so in that case what you can do you can write simple json as a tag over here and then you simply write i want to generate my json reports under target folder under target folder i want to create one uh, one more folder over here let's see my reports slash let's see report dot json i want to create same thing one more report i want to generate that is j unit report so i simply write j unit colon and i simply write that under target folder under my reports simple write let's see report dot xml i want to generate like that now what will happen it will generate pretty pretty means printing properly on the console it will generate one json file and the j unit xml file and we can directly open this particular xml file to see this particular j unit reports over here like that so let's see how exactly it works so run as j unit and when you run it you can see that okay my test cases uh, scenarios are working fine you go to your package explorer right click on your project over here and then simply click on refresh when you refresh it under this particular target folder you just refresh this also once again and you will see that my report got generated over here and under this particular my report you will see that report.json and the report.xml file is already there right if you don't believe that let me delete once again and let's run it again so i just uh, deleted or let me delete this entire target folder let me just uh, delete that and let's uh, run it again and let's see the target folder with my reports will be generated automatically okay it's giving some error okay let's uh, do one thing right click on your project once again and then simple do a maven update the project sometime what happens when you delete the target folder some of the file may be missing or we have to update the project and run as j unit once again now this time is absolutely working fine you can see it over here like that and let's see that target folder got generated or not refresh it yeah we can see that under target folder my reports got generated and then there are two reports one is the json and one is the xml when you open this particular report.json you can see that for every step for every scenario it's saying that yeah for the first scenario that is that got passed that is you can see the setup browser which is part of my hooks result is passed over here then the scenario is booking caps are done and uh, like that and you can use this particular json see this complete information about the test execution on the basis of pass fail and everything will be uh, written in this particular json file <clears throat> you can pass this particular json and then you can generate or you can send this particular report to some uh, reporting tool where you are generating the ui or something like this you can do that 
so yes the report is coming in the form of a json file second thing is that you just open the report.xml file which is used for the j unit if you have the j unit plugin which is already having <clears throat> i'm already having in my in my eclipse by default j unit plugin most of the time it will be available you simply double click on it and you will see that okay yeah all these console output or oh, sorry all these j unit reports are coming over here like that so these are the two basic reports provided by in the form of plugins you can use that other than that guys we have a one more report if you see this particular console output carefully at the end you always get this particular message from cucumber 6.9 what exactly they have started they say that okay if you really want to publish the report on their cloud you can do that so you just need to make one property the property name is cucumber publish enabled equal to true you just need to maintain one src test resources and maintain this particular property or you can maintain one j unit platform dot properties or you can maintain your environment variable also or if you want you you can directly write publish equal to two my cucumber options over here and i simply write put a comma and then publish equal to i have to write true over here now let's uh, run it again this particular file and then see the console output once again see the test cases scenarios are absolutely working fine but at the end i'm not getting that message that okay you have to set some property or something now let's say you can view your customer uh, cucumber report directly on this particular url so what i'm going to do i'm just going to paste copy this particular url and then i'm going to open a notepad over here or let's see any like that <clears throat> remove these uh, some special characters which are available over here okay like this and copy this entire uh, url and go to your chrome let's see i'll just simple go to chrome copy paste over here or any browser and it's directly you can it will navigate to reports.cucumber.io and you can see your report over here three execution happened three scenarios 100 percent passed a minute ago we are using cucumber jvm 6.9.0 so okay this feature is only available with cucumber jvm 6.9.0 so that's why we are using in my format xml file also we are using cucumber jvm 6.9 version and if you really want to see that what is your feature file you simply click on it and you will see the entire feature file over here and you can see the complete report over here that how many test cases got passed and failed and one thing is that you need to understand that this report will be deleted or self-destruct in a day after 24 hours this will be deleted automatically if you really want to delete before 24 hours you can delete that and then you can do that so if someone is having this particular url they all can access this particular this particular uh, report over here so still the development is going on uh, they will later on provide the security and the permission and then uh, they will secure this particular url only specific to you by using some uh, token or something like that but that uh, feature is still not available let me delete this particular file over here or let me delete this particular report from their portal so when you delete that it's gone and you can see that okay some previous results are coming so if you really want to use ruby you have to use this guy is using 2.6.3 cucumber ruby 4.1.0 and uh, some people they are already using it see i'm able to access that so someone has using uh, someone is using this particular feature like that someone is using let's see some hook start feature file over here so this is not my r report this is the report generated by someone else and we can see it over here executed by darwin 19 some guy over here so they have given some sample uh, reports uh, plugin over here so this will work if you're using cucumber uh, ruby make sure you're using more than 5.2.0 with cucumber you're using 6.9.0 or greater than or greater version and with the javascript if you're using 7.0 you have to use that some frequently asked question that which cucumber versions are supported clearly visible over here if you are using cucumber java it's supporting 6.9.0 so in cucumber 4 3 1 2 it's not available at all who can access this particular report anyone who has the link can i restrict access to a report soon restrict a restriction access is coming soon can i delete a report yes you can use a delete button to delete the report what if i forgot to delete a report with sensitive data reports are automatically deleted 24 hours after the publication can i keep a report for longer than 24 hours soon it is coming reports with restricted access will be kept until you choose to delete them and then can report be published as part of the continuous integration absolutely 
if you do the reports will link back to the github commit and say build that we will see it later over here like that so you can simple how do i request new feature or report or bug you can raise you can tweet them you can chat with them if you really want to provide a new feature in this particular report like that i'll go to let's see amazon hooks over here and in my amazon hooks what i want that over here this before hook which will be executed before each and every scenario i'll deliberately make it fail so i simply write integer i is equal to 9 divided by 0 so it will give you arithmetic exception and let's see how exactly the report will be generated over here and let's run it with j unit so you can see that okay yeah my uh, this uh, hook got failed with divide by zero exception arithmetic exception itself and you can see the j unit report also that booking cap sedan got failed booking cap suv got failed and booking cap for mini got passed because uh, i have written at the rate tag all so some of the features obviously scenarios got failed because of that particular hook now what i'm going to do that uh, I'll go to the console and this time it will generate a new ID over here. Can you see that? So every time it will generate a new report ID. So you have to copy this particular report ID and then uh, go to your Eclipse or oh, sorry, a browser. You simply write kikuma.io slash reports over here and then copy this particular ID over here. And this time it will fetch the latest one. Okay, we have to remove this spatial character one second. So you can see that 33% uh, test cases got passed uh, run by me on Mac OS. And this is my feature file where this particular hook got failed. It's giving you that arithmetic exception over here like that. And that's why all these uh, steps could not be executed. Same thing for this particular hook also got failed. But booking cap for mini, that is uh, not having any kind of hook as a precondition. So this is absolutely working fine because it is annotated with prod over here. Fine. So like this guys, you can simply uh, check your report over here like that. So this is still development is going on. This is a new feature is available and then you can easily uh, generate the report over there, right? Other than that, what you can do, make sure you are maintaining this publish equal to true, this Boolean property you have to maintain. If you don't want to maintain, what you can do is, let me delete that. Let me remove this particular publish equal to true and let's run it again and let's see what are the other options are available. I would prefer, see the console output this guy says that okay either you maintain publish equal to true if you don't want to maintain you simply go to src test resources and maintain one cucumber dot properties file over there so let's create one uh, cucumber dot property is under src test resources so this is my resources right click on it go to file over here and then cucumber dot property that i have created and which property that you have to write you just need to use this particular property over here this is my key and this is a value that you need to yeah, write that. So make sure guys you are just using it properly with a true like that. Okay. So cucumber.publish.enabled equal to a true that you have to use that. And in this case, you don't need to write any a Boolean property that is plugin equal to true or false. So yeah, this time it's absolutely working fine. Take this particular ID and let's see if it is uh, working or not. So I'll go to my uh, reporting over here and then I change the ID this one see again some special character came so you have to remove this and then see absolutely working fine three test case uh, three scenarios are there and this is my uh, feature file along with all the tags are visible over here right so I would prefer to maintain a flag in the cucumber.properties file instead of uh, you know maintaining the publish equal to true in your test runner file so this is a really good feature and still development is going on. But I think uh, if you are okay with that, you can still use this particular uh, HTML report directly available on their web portal, right? <clears throat> Other than that, guys, they have one more small thing. Sometimes what happens is that when you generate the console, sometimes alignment is not coming properly or some garbage characters are also coming on this particular, on this particular uh, console output. So if you really want a good format, so what you can do, you can simply write monochrome is equal to true over here. Monochrome property you can pass. Monochrome means give the console in the proper format or proper alignment and everything. Now you run it again and let's run it. When you see that now the alignment is coming properly, but I don't like monochrome now because by default Cucumber 6 is already giving all the green color steps over there. So that is a better uh, option that we were having earlier. So it's up to you. 
if you really want to use monochrome or not but you can see but now you can see that okay this is my first uh, scenario this is my second scenario and this is my third scenario with the proper alignment and everything and this is a reporting uh, tool is available over here uh, link is available over here like that okay so this is the purpose of monochrome monochrome is nothing just to use for proper alignment and proper formatting on the console for the report so generally we don't use that so i'm just making it back to false over here right another than that we have dry run also so you can try dry run is equal to true which is a very old feature since cucumber one dry run is equal to true means what if any specific a step definition is missing <clears throat> against that particular feature file so let's see uh, i'll do one thing i'll write one feature uh, step over here that then a user checks okay checks the trip details let's see i'm writing it like this okay something like this so immediately you will get to know immediately this particular step will be flagged because we don't have any step definition under my uh step over here but let's see if you don't if you are not using this particular uh, uh, this particular plugin eclipse plugin which is not flagging this particular uh, step over here what you can do you simple dry run is equal to true dry run equal to true will not execute any scenario it will just check which uh step is missing against that particular feature step so if you run it and let's see what happens so here you see that okay it's not executing it but it will highlight that okay this guy <coughs> user checks the trip details having null null means there is no mapping against the step definition so it will tell you that <coughs> this particular uh, feature step that we have written for that particular scenario so this left hand side section is what this left hand side section is coming from your feature step and against that step definition what is which method that you are using it so against that method a feature this is my package name this is my class name and this is the method name passing the string over there drop location start the journey ends the journey <clears throat> which is defined which are defined under my step definition but for this particular step i have not defined anything so that's why it's giving you null over here like that so that is a really good feature you can use it a dry run is equal to uh, true if you don't want to use it the moment you make it false once again now it will start executing your test but if you run it still the file uh, the feature step is missing and then it will give you first of all all these things but it will tell you that okay one see if you come over here first of all it's not giving you okay that particular step is missing it's giving changing the color and saying that okay yeah this particular step having a null step over here it means we don't have any step definition for that right and if you see this console output you will see that booking capture done is giving you error over here that if you see this over here that uh, you can implement using this it's missing or it's not defined for this particular step and it's giving that okay please use this particular at the rate then annotation and this particular step method you can define under your step definition class right so it's always a good practice when you create multiple feature files and multiple steps are over there and if you really want to see the mapping in fact this particular mapping the really good use case is that you can share this mapping with with other developers in your team or other qa automation engineers or manual testers with in your team which is simple copy this entire stuff and you can see that okay hey guys for this particular feature a step there is no step definition is defined so immediately you will get to know that okay yeah one method we have to define now this is the purpose of this is the purpose of dry run and once it is done then you can make it false once again right there is one more feature that is a strict is equal to true when you write that is actually deprecated a strict is equal to true it's saying it's deprecated what is the purpose of that if you really want to ignore any step feature is missing let's see step uh, a feature available which is missing just like uh, we have created this particular uh, user checks the trip details we don't have any step definition for that if you really want to ignore that you can uh, do that a simple strict is equal to true means strictly follow that if you write a strict equal to false it means that's okay you can ignore that but uh, don't use that because it's not recommended and it's already deprecated now so let's run it and let's see so here you can see that on the console 
we are not getting any output but it's giving the initialization error itself it's saying that is no longer supported oh nice please use a strict is equal to true only so this is no longer supported guys that in cucumber 6 they have changed it so let's go back to true strict is equal to true and then simple run as a j unit and in that case it's let it run and then output is saying but it's giving you the suggestion that okay please implement this particular step over there so better we don't use that because it doesn't matter you're using a strict, a strict equal to true or not that's why it got deprecated so let me just uh, comment it out for your reference you can check it by your own later okay guys so that's all for this particular video these are the different cucumber options along with the reporting plugins along with one web report on their portal available please try very simple very straightforward and later on i'll tell you when we design the framework that how can we integrate with some other nice reports plugins are available in the market so till then uh, take care and let me know if you have any issues please if you have any issues please feel free to write in the comment section i'll try to solve your problems over there and uh, subscribe to the channel guys a lot of new videos are coming with respect to cucumber selenium integration cucumber with api i'm planning with the a serenity also after this particular cucumber series which is that again one of the best uh bd framework tools available in the market so thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next session Bye bye